Hey friends, I am back in New York vlogging with Hannah again, which is so nice. We haven't vlogged for a while, it seems like, so. together. So we're gonna do a little OOTD for you. I am wearing a Rails Hunter, I think is the style shirt by, well, that's Rails from Nordstrom. These are Wit and Wisdom jeans, wow. also from Nordstrom. My shoes are Steve Madden, also from Nordstrom. <laughs> my bag is my So Black Mini. I said it looks like Wednesday, like very dark. It's like a Wednesday it's outfit. It's So Black because it's all black hardware. Yeah. So my So Black Mini from Chanel and my Sunnies are from Louis Vuitton, which have not been revealed on my channel yet, but hopefully by the time you see this vlog, they will be. <laughs> that before those were actually NYPD who were confiscating replica or you know counterfeit items they're on out here selling on Broadway all the time and I mean obviously there's a million of them down on Canal Street but yeah I've actually never seen that before so I thought that was very interesting so yeah cleaning up the replica market <laughs> What are these oh, called? Jelly cat. jelly cat? Do you have a favorite jelly cat? I like the bunny. <laughs> oh my god, it does have a jelly cat mm -hmm. It sort of looks like Horton from Horton Here's the Who. <gasps> That's so cute. Aww. It's, a, it's a lamb. A sheep, yeah, or it's a lamb. A lamb. lamb is just a baby sheep. There's another one next to it. Isn't that a lamb too? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that comes with a baby. Central Park, as you can see, we're at the reservoir. For those of you who are Sex and the City fans, this is where Charlotte run when she was pregnant in, what was that, I guess the first movie? Yeah, I think that was the first movie. Anyway, it is a lovely, well, maybe I shouldn't say lovely, fall day. <laughs> the temperature definitely feels like fall, but it's kind of overcast now and I think it was sunnier before, but anyway, Hannah was very sweet and asked me if I wanted to go for a walk. So here we are. Yes, I was very tired earlier and I was just kind of like hanging out in bed, not doing anything. And so yes, now we're out and about and having my first autumn fall drink from Starbucks. This is a pumpkin chai latte. Would have been better if it was hotter to start with, because now it's very lukewarm. <laughs> so we're at a place on... I don't know what we're on, maybe Madison, called Butterfield Market. Very cool, sort of a very upscale, like, very cool market. Kind of reminds me of Dean and Deluca, if you ever went to Dean and Deluca, which doesn't exist anymore, I don't think. Anna's 
all about the fall decor right now, so. We have a little floral area. And I think Hannah wanted me to see all of the fall desserts here. I feel like I Welcome back to another part of some vlog. I am actually walking to a pop-up for Vivaya. So I don't know whether you will have seen the unboxing before you see this vlog, but in one of my Paris Europe unboxings, I talk about Vivaya because they very kindly gifted me a few pair of shoes, which I have been loving. And coincidentally, they have a pop-up in New York for a few weeks. And I was like, I would like to go check out what they have and be able to try on some of their other styles. So I thought as long as I was going down here, I would take you with. I was actually just at a volunteer opportunity for the last couple of hours. So I was kind of down near I was in the 34th Herald Square area. Right now I'm in Soho. So yeah, I'm just walking there from the subway. I took the subway a couple stops from where I was volunteering. And like I said, thought I would take you with me. So let's see what it's all about. Okay, so here we are. And there's the sign. There is Pretty cool, a V made out of shoes for Vivaya. Let's go inside. Put all your stuff away and check out for the day. There's no time to waste when it's 100 degrees. Burns under my feet. Won't you have a drink with me? The 2.0 which fits the wide feet and oh. then we have a regular as well so if your feet have bunny on it or like you have like a wider feet we have two different kind of margot that you could try awesome so okay. this is the wider one and then we also have the margot mary jane which is available in the wide size as well awesome okay so, i did uh, not know that that's yeah. good to know so feel free to try them and then uh, we also have claire right here Aria here, they are very comfortable. Yeah, I have I have that pair. I love them. Right. So this is the so for Mary Jane, we have different kinds of Mary Jane. This is the Claire Mary Jane. We have the Marco Mary Jane and we also have the Aria Mary Jane. So for the round shape is the Claire. Okay. Is a margot. Okay, sort of the squared off. Yes, so, squared okay. off is the margot, and then for the pointed one is the aria. Is the aria. Okay, oh, so it kind of goes across the yes. different styles. It comes with Mary Jane or no strap, which is like just a plain aria, plain margot, and plain Claire. Got it. All the boots here are actually water repellent, so okay. it's great for the weather like New York. Yeah. So you can wear under the rain. Only the boots right here is not because you can see there's a hole in there. Right, yeah, I have a pair of those in black. Love those. But they are as comfortable as others. So they are all great boots. Feel free to try them. My favorite would be this pair. Oh, that's super, cute with a little kitten yeah. heel. Yeah, super comfortable. Cute. You don't have to break them in. Uh huh. They're the best boots in the world. Very cute. 
for sneakers. Oh, I didn't even know you had sneakers. Yes, yeah, sneakers. We have the plain white one, fee prime, uh, with a pink one in the back, green one and a black, and then all black. So I'm wearing it every day. I'll just tell you I'm I'm on my feet a lot. <laughs> and they are the best. I don't wear any other stuff, only fee prime. So this is the best. And then these are, what are those? This is Jackie. Okay. So Jackie is like a loafer. We have this and a Samantha. I will show you Samantha again, which is at the front. So um, they are like a loafer. It comes in a black. We also have a blue that I think someone just took it. And then we have the animal print, the orange, and the neon with gray. Okay, cute. Awesome color. For backs, ah. um, it's a two side Ooh, reversible match. back, which is like oh, cool. the other side is actually okay. blue, so you can always match your outfit easily. Mm -hmm. They are great backs. Okay. Okay. Cute. We have twin here at the pop up, so it's the same cut. Oh, that's cute and that tweed. Oh, so the bows are add-ons. So the yep, ones that I saw on the shoes up front, you can... Oh, nice. Okay. You can always clip on on the shoes Cute. anywhere you want. That is cute. I like that. We have the Samantha, which is uh, an other loafer okay. that we got. Very nice. Okay, ignore the fact that obviously this looks ridiculous, and I was looking for them in the black. These are really comfortable, and if any of you have like wider or more athletic calves, these will fit you. They fit really, really well, and they're basically the same heel as that one that I have in the black in the shorter version, but these are awesome. Like I said, if you're like me and you have trouble fitting your calves, these are fantastic. really really comfortable and these are the ones that are water resistant yeah. definitely better with my shoe with my pants this height these are great really comfortable I'm probably gonna order these on mine so I can take advantage of my own discount code <laughs> are in the navy in the 39 i think i like the 39 better it gives me a little more room so that was a great experience amy was the i think the operations manager maybe anyway she was one of the managers she was the one that showed me around very very kind she didn't want to be on camera though <laughs> so they are open until the 22nd of October. So if you're in the New York area and you actually want an opportunity to be able to try on the different styles and, you know, not have to potentially worry about you know, shoes not fitting, whatever, this is a great opportunity to get there and try them on in person. But I would highly recommend them. They are super, super comfortable. And yeah, actually, you know what? I think I might stop at Glossier since I'm here. Although they have the door closed, so I don't know why. But anyway, I think I might stop in there because they have a new foundation that I wanted to try. So let's check that out. Yeah, there's a party in the streets and the city's on fire. mini haul when I get home. So I'll show you them, but I got three things. Very excited about them. Okay, so I am back from my shopping trip and I thought, what well, was really a shopping trip? I am back from my what was I doing? I was volunteering and then I went down to Bavaya, which was very interesting. I need to look about ordering my shoes, but I thought I would show you what I got from Glossier. So 
as I mentioned, I went in to check out their foundation. It's, I think it's a new foundation for them. Uh, it is the Stretch Fluid Foundation, and I got it in Light 4, which is the pink undertone. And then I got some little sticker, which I'll give to Hannah. <laughs> and then I got a new boy brow because I had the wrong color. It's too light for my brows, so I got this one in the dark brown. And then the final thing I got was a new cloud paint, and this is in the color Spark, and it, it's a red. And I've been looking for a red blush. They're not that easy to find, but they're so pretty on, so I was very happy to get one of these. And like a tiny, tiny bit goes a long way. So this will probably last me and until I'm in the grave, so, to be honest with you. And it'll probably expire before then. So anyway, that was just a quick update of what I got at Glossier. I, like I said, I'm gonna look about ordering my shoes and probably see those in an upcoming, you know, unboxing or something. So anyway, back to the vlog. <laughs> outside of Nordstrom. It has nothing to do with Nordstrom, but I think they're being like deployed in different places. So right now it's a little worrisome in New York as a Jew, um, given everything that's going on in Israel. There have been quite a few protests, people in support of Hamas um, in Times Square and Anyway, in fact, David just said to me before I left um, that we need to talk about Nick and how he goes and works out at a, base, a primarily Jewish-based, like, recreation facility kind of thing, and whether or not yeah. we think it's safe for him to be going there right now, safe. in that it certainly can be a target. So, um, yeah. Anyway, it was just interesting. I've never seen that before. Like I said, I don't know if that's normal. Um, I asked somebody in Nordstrom and they didn't know anything about it. So I'm kind of thinking it's not a normal thing because you would think they would be like, oh yeah, no, that's how they, they're always out there at whatever time. But that wasn't the response I got. So I sort of think it's going on, like I said, maybe additional police out on the street given what's going on. So anyway, just, you know, I guess that's kind of the scary part about living in a big city like this is, you know, more things are apt to happen. Although, you know, in all honesty, we had a horrible anti-Semitic event shooting happen in Kansas City. In fact, actually, David and Morgan, my oldest, were actually at the Jewish Community Center as the shooting was taking place. It was very scary. Uh, so, you know, Kansas City is not a big city. I mean, it's about 2 million um, and a very small Jewish population when it, you know, compared to something like New York and even for the size of the city, it's fairly small. So, you know, it can happen anywhere, I guess is my point. So I don't know that living in New York makes me any more nervous than living anywhere else when things like this go on, but... You know, obviously, given that it's a bigger city, there are definitely more protests and things like that. So, anyway, right now, sorry for the bus. I mean, not sorry, I can't do anything about it, but anyway, right now, I'm actually walking down to Chanel on 57th to go see Andrew because I haven't seen him since he went on ETO. He wasn't there for the launch of 23K. Sorry, I'm in like a tunnel thing. So I'm going to go say hi to him, and then I'm going over to, over to Louis Vuitton to talk to them about one of the items that I purchased in Paris, which you guys will hear about, I don't know, before, after this vlog, anywhere there's an issue. I also have an issue with one of these earrings. It doesn't, like, clip, 
and so it just kind of hangs so I'm gonna see if they can fix that but mostly I'm going to talk to a manager about the other item which unfortunately I think is going to probably have to be sent to Paris which is not going to make me happy more on that to come but like I said first gonna go see Andrew at Chanel because they close at 6 and it's like five something right now. Louis Vuitton doesn't close until eight, so I've got plenty of time to go there. So I'll go to Andrew first, then go back to Louis Vuitton on 57th and 5th, and then head back to, oh my, children running. <laughs> I'll go back to the subway. So kind of the right thing to do. I'm kind of like going one way and then doubling back. But anyway, it's a beautiful fall day in New York starting to get darker earlier which I kind of like until it gets dark at like 4 30 and then it's annoying but yeah it just shows me that fall is coming so anyway if I can show you any eye candy when I wow that was loud if I can show you any eye candy when I get to Chanel I certainly will but maybe they'll have some things for us to look at or minus. They're both, I guess, pluses. So I can either bring this piece in. I realize I almost said what it was. And anyway, they'll be able to take care of me. Either by just getting me a replacement something. But they don't need to exchange the whole thing, nor I don't think could they. However, um, you'll see that I'm no longer wearing earrings because the other thing that I was going in for was because one of those earrings they're like the Louise, the small Louise. Oh my gosh, I'm walking totally the wrong way. <laughs> okay. But I just saw Chanel and I'm like, that's not the way I want to go. So one of the earrings like never would stay closed. It was like, the, it, it like went through your ear and then it like locked into a little, I don't really know how to explain it. But anyway, the one like would snap like you could feel it like snap into the little holder thing and it would stay secure. The other one would not, it didn't snap in. It just, and then like sometimes it would literally be just like hanging in my ear, like totally. Uh, anyway, uh, maybe I'll show you what I'm talking about. But anyway, so they put me down for a repair to talk to somebody. I waited an extremely long amount of time because somehow I got checked in at Soho. I'm not really sure how that happened, but anyway, so after all that, the guy up in the repair, he's like, well, here's the deal. We don't repair costume jewelry. So he's like, looks like we have them in stock. Like either you can do an exchange for the same thing, or we can give you a credit for something else. I'm like, oh no, I love the earrings. If you have them, I'll just take a new one. So yeah, look what I got. Brand new pair of earrings. That was awesome. So yeah, very happy about that. And wow. Obviously mine had tarnished because these are much more like gold <laughs> than the ones that I just handed to him. So, and luckily I had them both because I wore them here. So anyway, just thought I would give you an update and headed back towards the subway so I can go home and I guess make dinner or do something. So. Okay guys, so I'm back and I thought I would just show you what I was talking about with those earrings. So let's see, they them to me in a box and here is the I guess new receipt and in the slide box and the pouch 
So these are the small, I think, Louise earrings. Actually, here's the code if anybody is looking for that. Yeah, it says Louise door. I don't know. Anyway, but they are the smaller. Oh my gosh, they are so much more gold. They had really oxidized. So what I'm talking about is, hopefully you can see this, but this little, I should have probably checked it before I left. So it goes into that little, like little V-shaped thing. Hopefully you can see that one I'm talking about. And so it comes down and it snaps into place. And my one didn't snap. It literally was just like, it would flap in the wind. <laughs> so, ooh, this one's very tight, but it does go, ooh. Okay, well, hopefully it won't break. But anyway, yeah, very happy to uh, have a brand new pair. So <laughs> thought I would just show you those. Ooh, don't know why that feels like tighter in my ear, almost like the post is bigger, which I can't imagine it is, but yeah, it's interesting. This one is much looser, but it, I mean, it definitely does snap. I mean, it's not like my one that I just quote returned. But yeah, interestingly, these go in my ear like, I swear to God, the the little the hook part, the little thing that goes through your ear is actually like thicker, like in diameter than the ones I just returned. Because the other ones went through my ears with like no problem. These are like kind of tight, but anyway, you guys have seen me wear these a million times but I always worried about them because I was always worried that that one was gonna fall out. So anyway, that's what I got. Thought I would share, very happy with the customer service. And uh, I will call customer service about the other issue that I am having and see if I can kind of resolve it through that. And then if not, I'll go back to the flagship, but hopefully I'll be able to handle it over the phone, which would be great. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And if you haven't subscribed, come join us here. I am getting closer to 3,000 subscribers and I would love to hit that before the end of the year. So if you can help me out with that, that would be awesome. And don't forget to click the notification bell so you know when I upload videos. If you haven't had enough of me yet, I will put another video up here for you to watch. And wherever you are in the world, I hope you are having an amazing day or evening and I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys.